Class D amplifiers versus the old school linear Class AB amplifier. Which one sounds better in current times? We're about to find out. In this video, we will evaluate both amplifiers and compare their primary differences. Concluding the video, we will then use a line output converter on both amplifiers so that we could get an accurate playback representation. Let's dive right into it. The Class AB amplifier I'll be using in this comparison was designed by myself and consists of the TDA7375AV as the main amplifier chip. It's a hi-fi amplifier and is capable of reaching 0.02% THD with an 8 ohm load. You can find more details regarding the custom made amplifier by watching the previous video on this channel. Looking at the competing Class D amplifier, we'll be using the Sanwu Audio TDA7492 audio amplifier board. The average THD is rated at 0.1% with an 8 ohm load which is not bad for a Class D amplifier. As you saw, both of these amplifier boards come equipped with Bluetooth but we won't be using it in the test. In order to get the highest quality playback from these amplifiers, we will be using the auxiliary inputs. Both amplifiers will be using the same power supply and the gain is set to about the same at 26 and 27 decibels. The speaker outputs will be connected to a line output converter so that we can get an accurate representation of the playback quality. We'll first start listening to the Class AB amplifier. Now for the Class D. Now in this test, we will be listening to both amplifiers combined where the left channel is the Class D amplifier and the right channel is the Class AB amplifier. In this final test, we will be comparing the signal to noise ratio, otherwise known as the hiss on idle. Once again, both amplifiers will be combined where the left channel is the class D amplifier and the right channel is the class AB amplifier. As you can hear, the class AB amplifier was much more quiet than the class D counterpart. The idle hiss appears to be a problem with a lot of modern class D amplifiers. And that concludes the testing. I encourage you all to comment down below and share your thoughts. For me personally, I thought the linear Class AB amplifier was the winner in this comparison since the linear amplification sounded more natural. After all, you do have to remember that when listening to Class D amplifiers, you're simply listening to filtered PWM square waves. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I encourage you all to give this video a like and subscribe so that you'll never miss a new video like this one on the channel. Regardless, thank you everyone for your support and I'll catch you all next time.